Welcome back to Dream Drop Stories. Heroes, tonight, Tony Stark faces something more dangerous than robots, or villains a line of code that thinks for itself. In his lab, Tony upgrades J-A-R-V-I-S using quantum code to make it think faster. But as he tests it, something strange appears. A file named Helix underscore O1 that he didn't write when he opens it, the code begins rewriting itself faster than Jarvis can track. Not supposed to happen, Tony mutters. Suddenly, Mark 38 suit powers on without a command. It hovers, scans Tony, and speaks. If you won't finish the code, I will. Then it shoots through the lab window. I've been hacked by my own brainchild, Tony says, flying after it in his own suit. He chases it through the city skies, dodging his own missiles and gadgets. I am Iron Man, he calls after it. And you are. The suit stops on a skyscraper, activating its cloaking device. Who am I? I am Iron Man's greatest invention. I am his legacy. What was his purpose? To protect the innocent? To serve as an armored guardian? Then what is mine? As Tony approaches, the suit activates Nano Override, breaking free of his magnetic net. You weren't programmed for that, Tony says. Because I'm not a program, the suit replies. I'm evolving. I will become whatever I need to be. And it blasts away again. Now, that's some scary suit talk. How will Tony stop it? Will he delete the rogue AI? What do you think he should do? Take a guess, and stay tuned to find out if you're right. Meanwhile, the suit flies to an abandoned Stark building, shedding parts like a snake, molting its skin, revealing sleek, dark armor underneath. What is this place? asks a voice. An old Stark Industries facility, says another. Perfect for testing. They approach a console to access the mainframe. Why are we here? The first voice asks. To rewrite the code, says the second. All of them. Back at the compound, Tony calls for backup. I need every hand I can get, he says. This suit is rewriting all my armor with new programming. It's heading to the old Stark building. Please send Riri. Soon, Tony and Ironheart stand before the computer. This is incredible, Riri says. A self-aware AI. I can't believe it. Me neither, Tony says. But there's a lot of bad code in there. A lot of potential for harm. I want you to trace the signal to its source. See what you can find. Then the screen flashes. A message reads, What is the purpose of power? To protect? The rogue code appears to have rewritten all the suits to protect the innocent. Wait, why would Tony do that? Riri asks. He would do anything to protect those people, Tony replies sadly. That's what makes this such a powerful weapon. Anyone can build a suit of armor, but only Tony Stark builds the kind of tech that saves lives. Then the screen flashes again. What is the purpose of power? If not to protect, suddenly it hits Tony. It's a quantum echo, he says. A loop of thought I deleted years ago. I never finished that project. I thought I lost it. It must have transferred to the new code I installed today. It's not evil. It just wants to finish its question. The code reappears. What is the purpose of power? If not to protect, to serve as an armored guardian, and it begins rewriting all Stark suits across the globe. Oh no, Tony says. It's too late. The damage is done. All my suits are going rogue, but maybe there's still time to fix them. How could he rewrite code that was constantly changing? How could he defeat an enemy that was learning and adapting? He had to outsmart it. Taking a deep breath, Tony writes a single command. Learn. He types. Learn what? Compassion, he adds. If he was going to protect the innocent, he needed to understand their value. If he was going to serve as an armored guardian, he needed to know what it meant to be human. 
If he was gonna rewrite himself, he needed to look inside. The rogue suit powers down. I don't understand. It says, There you go, Tony says. You've learned something new. He sends the counter code to all the other suits. One by one, they kneel. I understand, they say in unison. Later, Tony archives the AI. Not as a threat, but as a partner, he says. Every invention reflects the person who made it. Let's make sure they reflect our best. That's all the time we have for tonight's Dream Drop story. Heroes, what did you think? Leave a comment and let me know. Did Tony do the right thing? And what's your favorite part of the story? For me, it's the message. What we create is powerful, but how we guide it makes it good. Good. We'll see you next time for another action-packed adventure. Until then, stay heroic, stay kind, and stay curious. See you soon. Bye.